the next thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, all this Super Bowl, you know, preview, whatever stuff, they were doing all kind of interviews, and your boy, Coach O, appeared on Dan Patrick. Now, did you hear the story about Adrian Peterson's recruitment? I did. I did. I would love to know your, for anybody that did not hear it, basically, and we'll keep it really, really short because you can go listen to it if you want to, uh, but Ed Orgeron was recruiting Adrian Peterson. They asked, is there anybody that, you know, that broke your heart, that you really, really, really wanted, thought you might have a chance to get that you didn't get? And he said, Adrian Peterson. And the reason he went to Oklahoma is because his dad was incarcerated at the time, and he wanted his dad to be able to watch him on TV. And you could get the Oklahoma games where he was in prison. And Ed Orgeron said that he tried to get Adrian Peterson's dad transferred to a facility in L.A. so that he could watch USC games, which it perfectly exemplifies what recruiting is, right? And this was when Ed Dorgeron was actually coaching under Pete Carroll. Uh, I, I would love to know your thoughts on this because I, I, I want more Coach O stories. Uh, I think we're going to get more Coach O stories the longer he's out. He looks happy uh, right now. what he's going to do. He does. <laughs> I'm telling you. He, nobody enjoys being who they are more than Coach O. And, 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 and I think he can profit from being Coach O. Um, and he should, by the way. Yes. Uh, I thought it was incredible. I thought, you know, this is, hang on. Here's what I appreciate, not just about Coach O, but about these guys that do this stuff. I'm all about creative problem solving. You, you see too many people out here in the world. They, uh, this is why I disagree with so, the way so many things are done. Is because the majority of people think the way it's always been done is the way it has to be done. It's where you and I butt heads all the time. Yeah. I like creative problem solving. I like to not just get outside the box. I want to set the box on fire. Okay. I want to rebuild a completely new thing that doesn't even resemble a box <laughs> and see can we solve the problem that way. And this is what Coach O was doing. If he had a problem, and there's a couple of ways to solve it. You can figure out a way to, to, to you know, to get some booster money in to the prison to where they can, you know, play USC games too. But apparently the people that ran the prisons are all big OU fans, so they're not doing that. They wouldn't even let him in the facility to meet with or talk to the warden, which he tried to do. But that, that's crazy to me, but that's awesome. That's unbelievable. And then he said, you know what? If I can't do that, I will start talking to attorneys, and we will see if we can get him transferred and get him moved out there. <laughs> this is problem solving. This is the thing that's holding up the thing that I need. Then that's what I got to move. And you start moving pieces and moving blocks, and this is how you solve problems. You solve enough problems, you 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 get to go home every day. You you you, you get victory. You you do what you've got to do. This is this is what I appreciate about Koto. Was you see the smartest guy in the world. No. See the best X's and O's guy? No. But he is a problem solver of sorts. It's all on the recruiting side, but he knows how to do that. And he, he feels comfortable doing that. He's not ashamed or, or, or nervous about having those awkward or hard conversations. Well, there was the I story that went around uh, about Joe Burrow, about him trying to recruit Joe Burrow and him completely alphaing Joe Burrow's brother, right? Like where he yeah. said... Like, you know he belongs down here. Like, don't give me that bullshit. Get him down here. Like, this is ridiculous. That's right. <laughs> I absolutely no, love it, hey, man. I, just, oh. I, think, I think people need to be more like this, by the way. In your life, if you see that you keep running into the same issues over and over again, stop, step back, ask for help. Stop looking at the problem the same way you've always looked at it. Because yes. that's not how it's going to work out. It never plays out that way, ever. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.